Pistols at dawn. Let's get into it then. Time to see what the strap book looks like. OC, we know he's powerful with the flashes. He's bringing them straight out on this pistol. Double for the sniper. No Kevlar vest, even a Molotov. And they look like they want to go for a unannounced late approach in towards that fountain. Just bided their time had there been any early CT aggression. But for now, look at the setup. Grim and Elysia have opted for two towards Connector. They'll be able to respond quick to this push, Lauren. He should be able to. Nath might be the first bit of contact here if he decides to peek around that corner for now. Eyes trained, drill towards the underpass, and it's fine margins here. The T side's getting a good bit of ground, the repeak. Elige decides to find info, and he gets more than enough. Two quick kills for the CT side. He's going to put a good bit of favor sitting in their pockets, and all Grim's down there too. Yeah, that was a grim couple of bullets, but with 3v3, Floppy's managed to pull Cloud9 back into competition. Look at Mottam. He's been so quiet this whole time. He's biding his, and now he could just walk through that flash on as soon as his teammates come in. Now, now would be the time. Time to strike, and that's oh. the shot. Sonic gives them the plan. Oh Bobby. dear. Oof. Oh dearie me, this isn't the start. I thought it was looking quite nice after that liege little play through the underpass, but now Grim left in a bit of a Grim situation. I hate myself too, don't worry. He's gonna try and play this one out though. Given a couple of fights on it, but not gonna let it happen. Three stand, bomb plant, cloud nine, gotta be happy. Yeah, a couple of jitters there from Grim, it seemed. He had a, a few on a plate right there as he peered up off Naf's flash from Connector, unable to convert. Now, it would be very liquid-esque to go for a force buy here. They wanna take the fight traditionally, and that's what's going to happen. We can see the buy coming on through there just before we dip back into these highlights. And I think that kill right there on Stewie, him not getting anything done, that was basically all she wrote. Twist also unable to find a frag and floppy with three to his name. So the force by will come out. Note the smokes. We've got four in play. There's a scout in Naf's hands as well. I think he'll be the player to take over the lion's share of orping duties. But now the T's just kind of taking their time. It looks like they're trying to feel out that aggression, see if there's that stack. But this time focusing towards underpass. Last time almost negating it, ignoring it and getting punished by Elish from it. But now it's a little bit deeper towards the stairs. Guardian, whatever you like to call it. The scout to hand. Not going to work out. Beautiful flash, flash from OC. This is what we were talking about with those flashes. Keep your eyes on how many times you see his name next to the killers. Nice quick lineup from Elish just to be able to play this toilet's position with more conviction. Up towards long, you can see a very clear game plan. I mean, you know the force is likely. Why not go to the longest duels you could possibly have on overpass? It's pistols. It's perfect. It makes a lot of sense, but they're in absolutely no rush. A deagle can still blow your head off, and there's two now glancing towards that long position. A 5-7 for Grim. The indecision there, it felt like. They wanted to go for aggression, but... The fact that Elyse pushed up and didn't find anybody, and now the last smoke from the CTs has just been dropped over towards the B bomb site here. 40 seconds left on the clock. Cloud9, they don't need to rush this. It's a really good call as well. Just regrouping towards B after initial flirtations with toilets. It's going to be Elyse to come, come back and call it clear. Nice twist. Waiting with pretty bated breath, but up close and personal. He's having to be trying to be ahead of those flashes. Anything would be good. That's lovely. Not bad. Takes down one, but there's still now a little bit of time. Grim's there. Stewie's there, but none get the job done. Elige going to be put to task. One's great. More would be better. OC says no. Three survive. Another bomb plant. Cloud9 are going through the correct motions here. Yeah, so with the bomb plan, that's just going to be enough bank uh, cash injected into liquid for one eco and coming in hot for the fourth. But Cloud9 is going to want to make sure they can keep everything floating along. My goodness, look how many jerseys Stewie's got behind him. I don't think he actually has real clothes. I think he just wears a different liquid jersey every day. Sonic on the screen as well. You can see that you've got those player cams giving you a little bit of a closer glimpse as to the players and those names in the server. Round three, as I said, Eco, just that deagle on a liege. Maybe he can cause some financial ruin with a quick headshot. Stewie with a flash might be able to pull something out here, but you have to hope for right place, right time when you only have one in the back pocket. You have to hold on to it for as long as we can see, and any damage that they can do on a round like this is good. You don't want to allow Cloud9 to go through with too many clean rounds, right? That's one of the things you want to try and avoid. Keep that economy as low as possible. Make it scrappy, because that's where Liquid will really get on top of the castle. And I miss watching Elise. What a player to watch. So exciting. Same with, you know, same with Stewie and Twist and all, all of the classics there. I'm a big fan of that. Elise, that's going to be nice. I said, thriving in that chaos. That was the SMG out of all the players to lose. That would probably be the one that stings the least, but still not ideal. The the bomb also being left pretty far back here. It might become a bit of an adventure for Sonic if that does come down to it. But for now, you know, it's it's not a big, a, a big issue. 
No, but it would get me nervous. Especially, okay, it looks like we've got the retrieval already. If the time got a little too loose, yeah, you could have had a ratty CT sitting on top of it. Looks like everything's back to a more stable Ooh. juncture. Stewie. It is going to be the B finish, though. So the rotation could come in, and it could be another stack on the side. The USPs, there's a... Good flash. E250 as well. So this is this is looking okay. Oh, I didn't catch Grim at all. I'm confused. That looked like it was destined to oh. blind his screen. OC gets away with just a scrap of health, and into the site they go. Liquid have made this all the more difficult than it should have been. Looks like they can clean it up. Nice catch from Floppy, and another consistent double from him. He's gone off to a flying start in the frags. In fact, seven to Floppy's name just two rounds in. The money's flush. Chad, they're looking pretty pretty good to good to go. Hot to chart. I, I was actually going to say hot to chart. Yeah, I, I like that one. That's I don't it. Know how many get oh, that. we've lo we've chopped and changed the fan cams. Loving some of your choices. My goodness, top left. He had all the liquid merch. All the stickers, goodies. All the goodies. Yeah, he's been in the merch shop. Well, Naf is on the AWP. We can see right here in the bottom left of your screen. No armor behind it. It's just the orb, a smoke, and a flashbang. But everybody else has the M4 A4s. We got utility to work with. No diffuse kit. So if we get to a post plant situation, that will come on in. But this pace from Cloud9 early. Behind their flashes seem swift to take control of the fountain area. Default smoke, just to take some control of middle. It's interesting to see the way Liquid have chosen to approach the defense of A. They just pair up and choose one, like pick your poison. Oh, I like both this. Long, both toilets are now using middle to descend towards B. Oh no, that was the bomb as well. Nav had a good bit of intuition and he's converted a powerful first blood. Yeah, that, that makes me a little nervous, a little scared. It looks like we're seeing a little bit of a play being created, but Twist, Stewie and Grim all still dedicated towards B. Uh, normally the little late flash catches. There it is. Does it get on? Yes, it does. Twist and uh, I think it said Stewie were pretty blind. Good trade. Sloppy and JT get in there, but Grim was the extra element, but he has been quelled. He has been pushed back. And now the 2v2 will probably be a retake here as the bomb goes down. Two on two. Leech has a good sneaking suspicion as to JT's position. He had eyes on it as the bomb went down. He knows no one's left, but Sonic has the perfect element of surprise and JT's right there, in fact, for the swing. He got both of them. And that will be four to zero. First real test weathered by Cloud9. Yeah, the South African duo at the end. That's going to feel good uh, between the two boys. But not a bad start there, Chad. What, what do we make of it so far? Give us a little kind of breakdown on what we're seeing. Well, I really like the way that they feigned control of, you know, bathrooms very, very quickly. Those Molotovs, the smoke to push yeah. back towards the CTs, make them second guess. You're going to stand behind that utility and accept, expect the next wave to come through. But they used that to actually clear through connector. And it felt that they were always going to head towards B. The fact that they lost the opening pick with the bomb, that was an overstep. That was an oversight, but the way that they closed that out was fantastic. That, la that late flash that you were highlighting there, Lauren, well, that was uh, the key to success in round number four. And as we go into round number five, well, it's upgraded pistols, a little bit of Kevlar, some light utility as well. Stewie investing quite handsomely there and the 1650 left in the back pocket. And Elijah's chance to get a kill or two. Jeez, he pulls the trigger uh. so quickly. He's going to try and get away. He's going to get hunted down by Mottam. Mac 10, he's right. He's, he's in the Amanek branch, isn't he, Mottam? He's straight there. Mac 10, ride or die, I will find you space. It's not just the bullets, it's the sound cues, it's the utility, and this time it's floppy. It's not the most powerful name. It isn't, no. And, I, and you know how floppy. I commentate, you know who I am. <laughs> I Imagine know. what I have to, to do to that. myself to commentate this team properly. It's wonderful. Uh, way. A stack here, though, Alex. So you, you've got, what, three players kind of tucked in. Ooh. Little positions, nice little flash to follow. Floppy's still having so much success here, running through them. Uh, not too many threats just yet, but this is where problems could begin. If it maybe gets a little bit beyond them, but it hasn't. And Grim gets put to bed. Again, three still stand. Another plant comes in. Cloud9 are winning all those small little uh, additionals, it feels, that, that set you up well. How cool is this? A great stat coming in from SEO. He tells us that both of these teams are the best at flash assists on overpass. Both of them. Out of the top 30 filter, these are your number one and two at flash assists on overpass. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a couple of lineups, you're looking for some advice, you want to show your teammates how flashbangs are supposed to work, give them the URL. Show them. Welcome to ESL1. Uh Alish has the AWP. Yeah, I, I think he's mm. taking the spawn. Does he just take the first peek and back off? Let's see. Brave. Big. And he's out. Yeah, looks like they'll be chopping and changing in the safety of toilets. <laughs> I wouldn't be getting changed in too many public 
Berlin-based toilets, but whatever floats your boat, Alex. Touché, touché. Uh, Naf there now on the orb duty. Ali switching up towards Long. We haven't seen him out here too much. Flash is not going to get it. Oh, Apparently it does. OC again, that name consistently supporting. Naf oh. just gets out done. OC's having an absolute blistering round. Pacey as well, a little bit of a switch up Quick, there. It? Yeah. yeah, they're taking these fights. It's still like 80 seconds on the clock. Grim's about to get overwhelmed. Straight through the fire and flames. The flash was good. But not good enough. OC actually caught his teammate there, but JT can still convert regardless. Oopsie. Not ideal for Stewie. Molly wasn't going to do too much, but now OC's got him locked in bank. Motta <laughs> from the heavens oh. and another $600. Wall Cloud 9 are looking hot to trot. Okay, Chad, how, when do we get worried? Uh, not yet. It's not yet. early stages, very early right. stages here. But Cloud9, I like the tenacity they're coming out the gate with. In the early stages against the anti-ecos, it was much slower. You know, they were feigning map control. They were using their utility fantastically. And now they've kind of ramped it up a gear. You see them happy to take the fights here. You, Elige caught off guard here, was not expecting that fight to come on through so quickly. And like I said, we haven't actually seen this liquid play overpass yet. So when you're having your first official on a map, there's usually some teething issues. Obviously, there's a change up from the practice games to the officials. And this could be some of those that we're seeing right now. A tactical pause will be called. Uh, Moses gets a chance to chime on in and maybe give him some choice words. But with the max loss bonus in play right here, it will just be one save from Liquid. They can go for upgraded pistols yet again. We're seeing the Kevlar once more, the Smokes, the 5.7s, a couple of Deagles in play. This would be the time for Team Liquid to start turning things around and it needs to be done through an individual. So far, the frags, everybody's sitting quite low. Maybe it's Naf's time to step on up. Yeah, very quiet. Haven't said his name a lot. And of course, one of the most uh, influential players on that Team Liquid roster. When he's on, he's unlike any other. We saw what he is capable of when the discrepancy was visible in Renegades. And now, surrounded by others of similar quality, it does just get you excited. And you know just how much he's capable of. Here comes OC with a flash in his hand and potentially Stewie perfectly anti-flash. But he still tried to pull the pin. Quick response from Twists. For now, they've been forced off at least the kind of initial aggressive angles they might be trying to play with. But Sonic now Ooh. spots up. Nice bit of play there. Spot down Naf as well. Swing from short, but Grim still stands. You do have still threats aplenty to try and get past Elige. I mean, I wouldn't want to tussle with him, but I'm also not in Cloud9, so what the hell do I know? There's Grim, though, finding OC, and it's all kind of hit the brakes here. They've kind of been oh. melted apart until Floppy, the name that never sounds quite as aggressive as we want it to be, but the man's closing a lot of these rounds. You look at kind of the meat of it, he is really getting to it. Yeah, say what you want about Floppy, but he wrecked it that round. He absolutely did. That's oh, nice someone shot. over there. He fine. did that one. Yeah, appreciate that one, our uh, resident golf fan. <laughs> but either way, it is time for round eight, and it's time for Liquid to get off this goose egg. It's starting to get a little daunting as you head towards the halfway part of our first map. Quick stop, Molly, you'll see that put out by Cloud9 themselves. And a fast pace from Mottam. Takes full control of water, Sonic in tow. Oh, this is quick. This is so fast. They chose to burn. There must be a reason for that. This pace has to be followed on. It's the same setup. Yeah, but look at the difference. Mottam this time might be able to get something done. No, he can't. Uh, JT receiving a lot of blindness from it. And all too aware, it's all been noted now. I don't think Liquid falls foul to this anymore. Yeah, I think they've, they've sussed this one out, certainly in this round. Three players on the site, all poised. Grim, Grim from Barrels catching that boost. Really did take the win from their sails. And now they've sent one man. It's Mr. Floppy to go and try and sell something. Keep those CTs busy and preoccupied. A smoke toilet, some a Molotov towards Back Guardian. Bottom up monster, and this frag is everything. Stewie, if he can take one. Not even. Now Twist is the one to fill the feed. A double from Twist. Stewie's there as well. Liquid have found their first. Just Floppy. Damage is the name of the game right here for Floppy. If he can get any kills, just keep that money on the Liquid side low. That would have been ideal, but Naf will strike with the AWP and the first round will come onto the board here. Before this, for Team Liquid, they were getting shellacked around the server. You have to look at the score lines for Cloud9. In, uh, what, we've got four out of those seven rounds. They had three players alive. In uh, one, of the, Only one of the rounds went down to a 1v1 situation, so the rest of them were relatively clean. Nothing to uh, get too worried about, but that pace change right there from Cloud9, it was another quicker round, this time over towards that B-bomb site. And heads up, Counter-Strike is probably what Team Liquid would like to play against, right? They don't want to be faked around, pushed around too much. If they can be offered up multi-frags, like we saw go down on the B-bomb site just there, that's what they can do their absolute best work. 
now, though, the pacing still seems... I, I like the fact that Cloud9 do like a little bit of an early fight. They're not unwilling to, to go for it a bit. They're not going to let the Elige have a little too much or Naf get a little bit too peaky. So keeping them somewhat humbled for now. Yeah, I mean, the early CT aggression is like it's a, it's a core element of overpass. Going aggressive early, taking an early advantage and falling back into the sights. And that early advantage has been immediately levied by Stewie. Love that and immediately taking the space. Look at how much information he can convey to his team now. There is nobody home. Start to prepare, batten down the hatches. A is vulnerable, but so is Connector. Look at Floppy. This could be the pivot. If they go through Connector, if Naf is knocked off his perch, that bomb can float between the two sites. And look what Mottam's plan, oh the flash. God. They're on their way, Lauren. This is scary, and, and surely the call gets oh. made. Oh no, they're, they're, they're just dismantling them. Every little brick that was working their way has just been kind of neutered for now. And we still need to see that success. Stewie could be a game changer, bear in mind. His position is an unknown quantity, a very, very, very dangerous element. It looks like JT's been somewhat tasked with Try and find him as quick as you can, if you can. While you do that, I'll work towards it. They focus so much towards Stewie, but he's good for one. If he gets another, he has been just outstanding. He is buying so much time. Stewie's incredible at doing this, but now a 2v2. It's still manageable on either side. Oh, spotted him. Grim, it's time to see what you're made of, my man. That's the AWP gone. And just mot on. Down to 70, one on one. He had the oh. first, he got the second man of the match in the name, but in this round, that's for sure. Great work, eight to one. All right, we can start getting a little bit worried now. Yeah, they got peanuts in the bank account as well here, Chad. So we were gonna see an MP9 for Grimm, but alarm bells can, can start to sound. Yeah, mainly because Cloud9 have won the half at this point, right? So anything that they get on top here is, uh, well, a cherry on top of already a beautiful cake. Things are looking great for them at this stage. The pacing was early. They're looking tight. They're looking tidy. Everybody knows what they need to be doing. And, well, Stewie a bit disappointed with how that one all unfolded there. OC sweaty smoke it is. We just missed it. It's like a really keen one where you like have to run off three different things. It's 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 dirty. Well, it's a B rush. It's so fast that we, we didn't even have the sound. He's already in behind enemy lines. JT does go down, but he had the attention drawn of Grim. And now Grim starts to line him up. A double for the new addition. Not rushing this plant. They have full control. It's basically a death match. So many sound cues. So much to deal with, but Elijah's managed to isolate one. Not getting the plant down yet is going to be a problem, though. The clock's still ticking against the T. So Sonic and OC desperately want something more, but the fake doesn't draw too much out. OC waiting. Oh. Hots him. Oh. It's Elijah now. Naf in the 1v2. Tag is good, but it's not great. He wanted a bit more, but he's got a bit of room to work with, Alex. It's still game on here. It certainly is, and I've got... Full faith that they'll be playing the percentages here from Cloud9. So it's going to come down to Naf. He's got every tool he needs for this. He's got a smoke kit. He can even scope on the diffuse to fake it. He's got so many options, but he has to. It starts by getting on the bomb. It'll be Sonic the first port of call. There's the smoke. Boxed him. If he hits it, there was a chance. But Sonic, he had his teammate right behind him for the trade. Great play from Cloud9. And continuing this essentially flawless T side, it's time to once again look at Liquid's money and say, maybe not time to be throwing all of the bells and whistles at them. This one fell flat. This is with the M4s. Let's see why. JT's drawing both of the fire. He even manages to take one with Mottam's help. And yeah, and then Grim just overrun. I mean, how's he going to find three? You bang on there with that call though, right? As he pushes through, he's changing the direction of which the CTs have to look. It pulls that attention away, and then the players around the pillar are able to get the work done. Now you can see a partial investment coming on through here from Liquid. That makes sense. If they went all in at this point of the game, it means they're looking at potentially only getting four, maybe three rounds. But here, being conservative, it most likely will result in 10 on the board. But hold up, Connector could get dicey. Players left, right, center. Mottam better be ready for this one. Stewie's already found Floppy. It's not looking brilliant for them. And it's drawn the attention and it's drawn Flood. Beautiful work from Elige, but Sonic tries to grasp onto it, but they slip through his fingers. What the I'm hell? Not like Liquid, but where did JT just get two from? Yeah, this was supposed to be Liquid's round, and just like that, in a matter of five seconds, it's gone from a 4v2 to a 2v1. Impossible to oh, comprehend. Naf's oh. flaffed the door. He has no armor, but he does have a Kalashnikov. Maybe there is something to be said about this round peaking in the Molotov Brave. OC expected it. That's double digits for Cloud9 into round 11. One thing I want to note here and put a big tick in the column for Cloud9 is just how 
ready they are to play heads up counter strike when the fight's coming to them they're more than happy to swarm on the liquid players and take them down they're not backing off and going, oh they've got the territory they're better aimers than us no they're happy just to get stuck in and jt bowed them out with two massive kills right there now naf with the door that whole situation he tried to use e to pick up the gun which was a little bit further away or the used key depending on uh, which you might have it bound at home differently but that swung the door open given away the element of surprise and well once again we find team liquid down 10 to 1 but that's an opening that might turn things around here Ooh, that's a welcome change. Nice work from Naf. He gives Liquid an opening kill. They have to run with his first blood now. It's time to convert. I feel like we haven't seen those opening bloods though, have we? Liquid, it, it just felt all against them, these all-encompassing hits, but maybe that's enough to kind of tip the scales that we we're waiting to see. Maybe that bit of confidence, something clearly frustration. We saw the, you know, the very displeasure and displeased look on Elise, and probably not happy with that either. Yeah, it was a, definitely a full fist to death. Oof. Look, one of the problems here is uh, Cloud9 are owning this in terms of multi-kills. They're 15 multi-kills to only the six of Liquid. The individuals which you hyped up, they're not getting their multi-frags at all. Certainly not. It looks like individually we said it was a guarantee Liquid would be head and shoulders. Oh! And there goes their heads and shoulders. Three in quick succession. Stewie reminds us of what Liquid are capable of. Yeah, that's certainly not a no tears moment. Um, I'm... I'm beyond happy to see at least Stewie finding a little yeah. something. Because as we said, we pound for pound, right? It was always meant to be the caveat. Like, yes, this is the map for Cloud9. It was always going to be, this is their favorite, this is their home turf. Yep. But pound for pound, you're not meant to be this down, right? I think the, I think the deal is, well, and what Cloud9 are doing very well, is they're setting the tone, they're setting the pace. They're not being dictated to by the aggression of Team Liquid. They're actually the ones who are assertive at the start of the rounds. And a Miss Molly right there, that's going to give some free territory for Cloud9 early. They'll get... Playground control, they're also jostling over towards B. The bomb is in the backyard area. And this one's going to slow it down. So from what seemed a bit quicker from Cloud9, it's a pace change yet again. Economy not looking too fantastic as Sonic only has a Deagle, but they're winning 10-2. That doesn't really compute, but some of these last rounds have been quite close. Hmm, twist going looking could be a... It's a dangerous game to play, isn't it? It can I, work I so well, but you see a deagle against you, think, oh, what if I drop it? But obviously he's not expecting to lose, he's expecting to win. So a little bit of a different approach, but it looks like a fallback here, and they still have, what, one smoke on Mott and one on Floppy, a couple of flashes. It won't be much, but it's worked in the past, and it could work again. Yeah, so I imagine we're going to see the same oh, setup to smoke. as before. Now, hang on a second. Twist will be checked. It'll be Stewie to make the call. He's not looking in that direction. Adjustment slow, but twist perfect. Bait and switch from Team Liquid. That's the CT setup that they can get away with and now fall back into the site. They know where the bomb is. They know they've got a two-man advantage. Looks like Liquid are starting to find a rhythm. You don't drop uh -oh. this. Oh, it's oh, both. This. No, nicely done. Twist played that to perfection. I, I want to also credit Stewie with the way he kind of played that too. Very much on the edge, but really, really capitalized oh. on it. Bottom does find Grim for free, so maybe there's a bit of room. No, Elish shuts the door on that, eliminates it, gets it rid of. And the economy, Chad, you said there was a bit of a weird spot. It's in a bad spot now. Yeah, it's flipped very, very quickly, and it didn't feel like that was going to be the case only a few rounds ago. So Liquid now have a chance to potentially lock this half out with five rounds on the board. It's not great. I'm, I'm not going to say it's great, but it's the best that they can possibly hope for. And it was another multi-kill round. So in the previous, we had Stewie going ham. And now Twist has stepped up with a 4K of his own. So now the Liquid individuals are warming into this. And they're starting to come alive with what we expect. We need to see more of that as we continue forward. So it'll just be a full eco round. We can talk about... Uh... Yes. Mm -hmm. Alex, what is the favorite dish I cooked you? Oh, hold up a second. Mm, that's a good one. I'll think about it as he hits a lovely sit-up and even keeping it up with the USP. Yeah. Clean as you like. It's only Mottom, no plant if possible, no bomb, no health, and... I really like that Glock. Oh, it is pretty. I haven't seen that one before. I think it's the Vogue, I think. I have it. I, Someone's been doing some research. Mr. I'm too cool for skin. Yeah, I, I bought yeah, a lot of skins. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've opened a lot of cases of okay. the new cases. What is your favorite skin currently? I like the, um, I think Which it's one? Prince Please. Stream, I think it is, the Deagle, the White Deagle. That's cool as... Okay, that's yeah, nice. I have it. Really cool. Your favorite skin yep. right now. Um, right now, I'm really liking my um, Doppler flip, flip knife. Oh, I saw that. That is that quite is nice. nice. Little, I'm surprised you haven't done like the James. token thing of like toothpick as the name. Nice. I was expecting it. If I'm you know how terrible that. my names are for knives. <laughs> one was called... Zigzag Body Bag. That's the one. <laughs> Zigzag Body Bag, the butterfly knife. Never forget. It was a time. And uh, this could be a time for an Elise. If he plays this right, he could definitely catch JT in a bad spot. But other than that, though, this playthrough underpass has been 
somewhat unchecked for now, but again, it's it's territory that you're willing to pull back from. Precisely, from the, uh, yeah. This is, this is territory that's certainly optional for the CT side, this time for Gon. Good flashbang to enable their, their cross. Liege far too wise to be sticking around, but he actually wants to back up Naf so they can aggressively hold this. I actually love this. He tucks in the corner here. This is a very common setup. He can hold this, Naf holding the long line. It's aggressive and it often pays dividends. Double, just like that. Looking to see Liquid completely revitalize their CT side, albeit a little late after the double digits came in from Cloud9, but it has been, what is it now, three in a row? Yes, this will, be, this will be the fourth. We will take any bit of recovery because it means a longer game, and I'm, I'm happy with that. I want to see this drawn out. I want to see Liquid warm into it. I feel like they came in cold and they seemed a little stunned by what Cloud9 were doing, which is quite surprising, or maybe they just simply weren't up to task yet. And now, it's a little different. Those multi-frags are coming in, that nice little re-aggress, as you said. But now they sit back towards the site, respecting what has been brought so far and also just playing the clock just right. Look at the lack of utility. Motum, one smoke, Molly, that's it. That's all they've got to try and make something out of here. Yeah, and if Liquid throw away another advantage, like 5v3, Jason will lose even more hair. With Molotov. Oh. A good shot from Sonic, fortunately held on to. Liquid are set for success. Looks like we've got that 10-5 half. Mottam with just 10 seconds and not a hope in the world. Deja Vu, he was here before. Into the smoke for the plant, good hope. But it's 10-5. It's Cloud9's map and they've made that clear. A 10-5 half, we'll be right back.
Your last game of the second day of ESL1 Cologne. It's Cloud9 Liquid. We've got Cloud9's map pick, Overpass. We're taking a little brief hiatus. Seems some tech issues are plaguing Liquid to get in that to that second half. But myself, Sponge and Pansy still hanging out and have taken a moment to reflect not only on the scoreboard, as you can see in front of you, but also our beautiful faces, as well as this gorgeous studio we find ourselves floating around virtually. I, uh, if they upload us into the mainframe as well, I guess, you know, we could technically just be a virtual studio. Why don't we have 3D models of us <gasps> walking around the virtual studio? And we just cast at home. And we just sit at home. I, I really got into watching like the VR chat stuff. Like I, I found oh, myself, never mind, it's live. Yeah, like soda popping stream and stuff. No, there's some Australian blokes that do some funny stuff. Uh, but anyway, we'll get right into oh, really? the game. How right unusual here. for Australian blokes doing funny stuff, Chad. Yeah, look. Uh, you got better provided the odds for this one worth mentioning. You can see the Liquid are still considered the favorites despite the 10-5 scoreline pointing in favor of the underdogs. Utility average damage per round does currently be held by Liquid, but they were on the CT side. So let's see if that transitions as Cloud9 take to the defense. Coming into OC, it's going to be hard for him to deal with. And I don't know what Stewie's just done, but Mottam's gone and already overwhelming the site. Floppy clawing one back, but Stewie, he's got a lot of space here and he's taken three heads clean off. Should be the round, only Sonic remaining. He's upgraded to the USP, maybe the element of timing here for Sonic, but no, nope. he's already scarped all the way to Monster and the movement from Twist enables him to get the information so safely. I think Sonic's nutty, but this one, this 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 one, is Chief. It's a really lovely round. What a nice start for him. That's one of the things about having Stewie as the in-game leader, right? I think that he's obviously a, a very emotional player and he is the emotional uh, leader of the team as well as now in-game leading. I think him being fired up is key because you think of the other guys, Lee's, you know, he's relatively quiet. Get we've back. got the same with Naf in the, that regard. I think Twist, we've obviously seen him get fired up in the past, but that's when he's doing some monstrous things. And then Grim coming in. Exactly. Grim coming in, look, I, I don't know too much about him, to be honest, other than the Counter-Strike I've seen in the server. Land for him isn't something that he's uh, had too many options with, especially at a tier one level. But Cloud9, they want to bounce back with a Force Buy of their own. OC on the scout. We've got a couple of MP9s in play. And straight over towards a B push. So they've cleared that one out. They have the info, but it doesn't really net them too much else. So this is kind of reminiscent of how Cloud9 approached their first weapon round. It's smoke off toilets, admittedly not gathered to the same capacity, but it's going to keep the CTs busy. You can see JT and OC are the ones I'm referring to. There are a few players that can make the scout feel like a justified purchase, but OC certainly is one of them. Woxic is at the top of my list. It's a pretty fair shout, isn't it? So this is the setup I was talking about before, right? But it's being used in a second round. They've got the Deagle instead of the AK and then a scout instead of an AWP, but it still holds water. Let's see how it works out for them. If it's tested, seems like Long is being investigated by Stu. I always find these rounds very dangerous when you take your time, knowing you are up against the force by of a scout. The more you spread out, the more you fan out across the map, the chances of you getting tagged on up and losing some HP become more and more likely. But they will get toilets control here, and now they just have to deal with this deagle that you were talking about. Well, that's isolated him. That's a nice little molly there, just to force that scout further back. Dismantle the uh, crossfire. He's found twist though, but no further trades favorable towards Cloud9. So for now, it's going to be Liquid holding drastic amounts of numbers and Sonic kind of irrelevant to the round. But good recovery from Liquid. I, I, I was a little scared, honestly. I, I think there was a little bit of worry, but seeing them kind of be this well thought out, this methodical in just the way they approach things, just at this point, is a really good indicator, I feel. But that little piece of utility, that Molotov that we saw get thrown there in the bathrooms area, that's key. If they don't throw that, then the scout can stay on the line, potentially get a tag, or a pistol could push through and try and trade. So it's that little detail right there that makes the difference from being able to isolate JT up close and personal, or potentially having a bunch of CTs in your face. And that was good by Liquid to actually have the thought process to not get bogged on down by, oh, we need to get towards the site. You have to kind of change the map out. We talk about the puzzle pieces, you break them down one at a time. Oh, I love this sound effect that we get. The bubbler. The, the bubbler. The bubbler. Making some sprudel vassa here on Overpass. Well, we've had this happen before. We have. You remember Don't it was like last, se last season? Yeah, I can't remember the, the cause, but it was, it was a hilarious one. I, I, it was like really mysterious. Like a tin that got thrown into a wall. No, it's like something like a camera was like under the water, and so the yeah. sound effects for everything, because one of the cameras was under the water, gets all weird. Like this. Like that. Can we fix that? Uh, yeah. It might take a I little mean, while. They might have to restart the feed or something along those lines, so oh. bear with us later. Hello, guys. I'm reporting live from the helicopter. We're here above oh, Overpass. Oh, they missed oh, it's a fumble. as well. And we have to get server conditions and chip damage in as a homage to Jason as much as possible, right? <laughs> I miss him. 
chip damage is. I don't know why I haven't added that to my vocab. It's pretty much exactly what we see every round. I wasn't like his main, you know, but as a side piece. You were his side piece for sure, yeah, but like you know. he, he, you, he, he liked you. He, he really he, liked he working with you. He treated me quite nicely. Treated you right. You know, maybe I'll get a liquid t-shirt one day, who knows? <laughs> Lovely work from Twists. Mm. That's a whole three, maybe even four. He has actually got all four of them as they come around mm. short. Doesn't get much better than that. OC perhaps can steal away an AK. He's on. Oh, unfortunately, that door gets closed behind Stewie. That was enough to confirm the surprise will no longer be present. And now OC, well, he's got no weapons to recover. From the That's aquarium. Back now. I thought we just lost it. I don't know. I hate it. It's like we're in Atlantis. You this is just in Minecraft OC underwater. defending the lost city here. The Atlanteans advance. 10 to 8. Clean rounds, though. If we want to uh, look at a positive right there for Liquid, keeping a lot of players alive right there against the Eco and just that uh, MP9 that was in the hands of Sonic. You can see them all getting absolutely destroyed by the Galil at range of Twist. That's going to be a nice little confidence booster for him. He's had a nice multi-kill in the first half. I can't get over how the team model looks holding those jewelies. It looks like he's holding like a dinner tray or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you. Oh dear. They are starting to uh, see more action though, Chad. I mean, it's in a very expensive pistol, a little over the P250. And some players. Anders. 30 bullets. Yeah, 30 bullets, that's true. Yeah, look, a lot of the guns get overlooked, right? We, we, Counter-Strike once upon a time, it was uh, Deagles, USPs, and Glocks. That was it, right? That was the only viable pistols. And now we have, you know, the 5.7, the Tech 9, the P250. If the Julies come into play, we get the CZ75. And uh, Rush's favorite, the Revolver. Actually, sorry, JW's favorite, the Revolver. He memed on that for a little while. We haven't seen too much more out of him with uh, that bad boy. It's a really fun fact about the Revolver, Lauren, that none of us knew the first time around. It's actually got good ladder accuracy. So people were buying it on Nuke and Pop Dog Train just so they could rat around on the ladder and shoot you while they're on it with a little ink. Don't like it? That yeah, look. Found that out. Who sweated hard enough? Somebody J Dubs. I don't but know. We do. We do have a gun round. So you're right. Go on. Do your job. Somewhat. This is this is a big fight back in for Cloud9. So I want to see what they can bring because this has to be good, and that's a really positive start. But bear in mind that was I think the SMGs that were left over between Grim and Stewie. So it's certainly not out of the woods just yet. That's probably going to do it though. Elise going down, leaving just two is going to put them really to work, and they've got no territory. You're going to be loving that, Chad. They boosted on Connector straight out of spawn. Yeah, and I know it's a bonus round for Liquid right here, but you want to get something done, right? The idea of having the bonus round coming on through is to keep the CT's economy low at least. So now that NAF and twists with the rifles in hand. They have to find a couple of frags, and that magic number I keep talking about is three. So if they can get three kills in this, doesn't matter if they win or lose the round. Well, better if they win. But the damage could be important here as this one trickles on forward. This could have been the chance for Liquid to tie things up at 10-10, and now it's looking like a chance for, Li uh, for Cloud9 to jump even further forward. Yeah, and you're bang on about taking weapons away. Look at Cloud9's residual cash. It's non-existent. So taking anything away from them, really going to hamper them coming into this and establishing this defensive side. This is not a round with nothing to play for. Far from it. Oof. Nice chance for Naf, but Mottam all the ready for it. And now Twists. He's got players coming in from both angles, and they're going to double peek him. He's going to do well to find the first. He wasn't anticipating the second, never mind the third. And so it will be JT to quickly confirm that the 11th is Cloud9. So we're heading into the 20th round of our final game in our second day of ESL1 Cologne Online. This is the Americas region. We've already seen some successes in Group A, now venturing into Group B for the first day of play. How come you guys didn't tell this me these? This is the boost. Yeah. Well, this is an old school boost. I used to cop this all the time from CLG when we used to play against them. Going back five years, it sucked a lot. So effective. I mean, I'm looking <laughs> at the time. That was, that was like 15 <laughs> seconds into the round. They yeah. had two people in connector. Hell yeah. OC's going aggressive as well, taking a, t a leaf out of his teammate's book. He's even got a friend. Oh, this is hot. The fact that they have the balls to be doing this, Lauren, against Team Liquid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Liquid heard those gigantic balls being dragged across the map at that point. So easy one for Grim. But as said, Cloud9 for now going to fall back into something a, a little bit, I don't even say passive, but a little bit further back. Come doubling up on long and doubling up in short, trying to, I guess, take portions of the map. Yeah, certainly. I like the positioning from JT. Full anti-flash, fully hidden. OC's going to take the first shot. They'll be looking to close him down. And JT can come and clean up a nice multi. Chad's been keeping his eyes on the multi-kills. And it's... What oh. was that? A drive-by from Stewie. And Grim's done the same. Here's the aim we know they're capable of. This is just an individually driven round success. 
And now just floppy. Whew. Not really anything he can do but sit and stare at his screen in disbelief. 50 seconds left for this T side to eventually make a choice, but the rush is not present just yet. Plenty of time for Liquid to make sure they don't fall foul to any floppy corner. Now, here's the deal. If I'm Liquid, I want to make sure as you're planning the bomb, you've already set up the net. You want to chase and try and take away this AK-47. Make sure they can't save anything going forward because you're putting yourself in the driver's seat. Fantastic stuff there from Twist to finish him off to now start running away with this second half. You can see here, if we take a quick look at the right-hand side of your screen, Floppy with 4.2, 4.7 on JT. Sonic, he doesn't have enough to get a buy. And Mottam, he's down the bottom of the barrel there too. So here's that drive by we were talking about. What? It was a run boost with it? Oh. I wonder we didn't see it. Yeah, no wonder. And I'm sure the uh, the CTs didn't quite have an explanation for that one either. Well, that certainly got some of the fans uh, excited. And wow, some of them getting creative as well. I love it. It's good to, to get that creative. Uh, I like the dances earlier. They, they made me happy. So here's the save. There's just a couple of upgraded pistols, some deagles in play, a scout in OC's hands. So this one could be dangerous, right? If OC gets a couple of deagle tags, uh, sorry, scout tags, and the deagles can finish them off quite easily. They're not out of the woods by any means. Yeah. And you can see that there is restraint to liquid. It's the, uh, I keep referencing threat effect, but it was something he hammered into the NIP boys many years ago. These are the rounds that you can let slip away. Deagles and scouts will chip away at you if you do start taking liberties. You have to remain rigid. You have to remain clinical in your approach, even if you have a distinct advantage against your opponent. So look at the information that they're getting here. Cloud9 through to T-Spawn. This flank will be rather quick. Twist is going to have his knife out if he's not careful. <gasps> he's waiting. He's still waiting. That's gonna, they could do damage here, Loz. This could be sick. Twist. Grim, Stewie, they're all there. That's the bomb too. They've seen it all. Oh, he turned around. He's whiffed it. It's not the end of the world. It's still two for two. They'll take that leash tag, but he did get the frag onto OC. Come on, Mottam, nothing. And that's clean. <laughs> Stewie gets the job done, but my goodness, was that sketchy. Oh, wow. He fell off they my seat, all. Lauren. They had it all. Oh. It's tough. It's so tough. Woof. Well, that's going to get my heart beating. I'm sure the same for Cloud9. They might want to cool off a little bit. We'll see a replay of that one. Look at the who, timing. Who turned around? Behind that's behind ah. them. Oh, thank you Did so you much, cameras. Him? All right. Well, well that solved the mystery for us. Yeah, look, that would have been catastrophic for Liquid to lose a round like that. And that's one of the tilt rounds that we could be throwing on in the mix. So the fact that they were able to stay right there and get themselves now 10 on the board, they've got the double digits here as well. Liquid fanning out for the default. Couple in connector, one over towards playground, two towards the back of B. Early exchanges of utility just to hold those CTs at bay, not allowing them to go for too much aggression. And now, well, it's just the posture. And we stand through, we see what we can find, see who's home. One of the keys with overpass, a map where you want to push back and slowly comb for utility on the T side. You have to flash off the Orpus, smokes to push back lines of sight, and Molotovs to allow you to get up close and personal. And this one is a slower start to the round. A minute and 10 seconds left on the clock. and. Well, I'm just going to use his smoke. That'll be gone by about 50 seconds. So only one smoke left now. No Molotovs as that one's being thrown out. Cloud9 only have the rifles. Oh, dear. Rifles and a, and a couple of flashes, really, to defend with OC's AWP. Where did Liquid finish here? It feels, 40 seconds. It feels like A, based on the bomb rotating back up through Picnic now. NAF might just be holding on to that short area, and well, that opening right there opens the door. Patience. So, so patient. But OC is still here. Now, the rest are going to have to make a move because I think it was NAF who was keeping their attention over by B, but now here they come. OC, what? the flash from Sonic sets him up so, so well, and he's buying time. Grim finally gets in, but the rest of the CTs are here. 15 seconds now. Yeah, and that's a good find from Elige. Floppy, unfortunately, very worse for wear on the rotate. It would have been certainly a more manageable affair had he been coming into this healthy. But with 23, he's going to have to make zero mistakes. He can't afford to have either of them shoot back. Doesn't really seem realistic, but he's going to give it a good go. Elise responsible for the bin position. If he can isolate Grim, he's got a shot at this. And no, Elise, that's his quad kill in the round to pull Liquid back to an equal stead. That patience on the first was just so nice. His patience on long there just to open it up, but 
Game on. Now, uh, back there in the first half, the multi-kills was in the favor of Cloud9. At one point, it was at 15 to 6. So multi-kill rounds is now sitting in the favor of Liquid 18 to 17. So that's quickly tipped on over. And opening kills continuing to fall in the way of Liquid here, 15 to 7 in that regard right there. So they're finding the openings, and now they're getting a chance to stretch their legs. So that's a really big win for them. The money not going to be fantastic on the side of Cloud9 yet again. And you can see it's just another one of these partial buys. Now, with the scoreline as close as what it is, we're not in dangerous territory for Cloud9 just yet, but if they're unable to convert the following gun round, oh, at that point, it really does start to become a problem. Saves might have to come into play. They might have to be a little bit more timid if they lose a bombsite or a pick early. So it's all going to come down to the big decisions from JT and the boys. How many rounds have they had in this half, real quick? Uh, one. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not looked great, if I'm honest in my opinion here, Alex, but going forward. Obviously, this isn't the round where you hold them to the highest of standards, but that's a really nice beginning. Oh, what a chance from OC. That could have been a 5v3 advantage had he converted. Down Grim to 12 would have taken the lion's share of Liquid's uh, utility away from them as well. Let's not forget, you only drop all your high, most expensive nade. He had a stack of four. Could have been a very powerful kill, had the element of surprise. Regardless, 11. Rather even keel. Grim spots the push, he knows exactly what they're going to be up to, and so now they can plan that bomb safe under the assurance that this round is theirs. I don't know whether or not there's much more to be scavenged, just that one AK that JT will be happy to recover and dig his heels into the playground sandpit. These ones are boring rounds, I'm sorry everybody. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to apologize for the Counter-Strike, you're not really No, but we, we, we get these, right? We get yeah. these. And we try and, like, we spice it up a bit. We, we, we talk about fun stuff. We go down the rabbit holes. We talk about, you know, our childhoods, which uh, at least the things we used to watch on television. Yeah. Um, yeah. We still haven't shown a Mr. Scribble. Squiggle. I always get it wrong. Squiggle. Not Scribble. <sighs> it's a man with a... He has, like, a pole <laughs> and a tennis ball. Very, uh, and he's got, like, a pencil okay. on the tennis ball, but it's a, it's a puppet. Yeah. And so he draws upside Where's this down. From? Where's this from? Australia. Australia. Uh, of course it is. And he draws pictures upside uh, down. You're like, this uh, is all the gobbledygook. It's all nonsense. And he turns it the other way, and it's a cat or something. Very, very cool. I'll send you some links tonight, Lauren. You're going to love it. You remember, was it Dick and Dom? Yeah, in the bungalow. Yeah, bogeys. Jinx. <laughs> Buy me a coat. Coca-Cola or a other beverage. I don't mind. Anything, really. Anything is fine. Yeah. Um, so let's get into the round of 24. That's, that's the 24th. Comes after the 23rd. In case you were wondering. Easy. And straight out, extinguishing the Molotov, looking for blood. Notice how an AWP hasn't really been key for Liquid here. They're more than happy just to get this done with five rifles, and that means they can be a little bit more versatile. Naf able to stay in transition more, and that's good because they have him over towards the B bomb site, uh, dealing with any aggression over there, and he tends to lurk towards that side of the map when they are going for the A pieces. So this time around, Liquid are going to have three players over towards Fountain, one in connector. And as I was talking about, Naf babysitting that B-bomb site. So this is very standard. You see this, the smoke towards the front of bathrooms, the Molotov to push back the divider position. And now a flash will probably come on into connector so they can get on in and clear that out. Also a good chance to go through and backdoor the long position. Make sure you clear out over towards tree. Give you some different angles to work with and apply pressure on the CTs here. So... Liquid just going through the motions, but OC staying forward. There's a chance for a pick, and that's a big opening. He needed that. Yeah, that's some energy. It's going to force Liquid into a bit of a uh, rerouting. That deep Molotov not going to force any fights. So, Twist and Grim holding okay. hands as they skip merrily towards their teammate Naf. Oh, but look at the timing of Floppy, he could get caught out. Oh, it's tough, he's managed to take one with him. I don't think they're going to be wor worried about that. That's still an advantage with just 20 seconds left. Sonic's still here. He's over by the barrels and Molly doesn't go deep enough to stop him. And there's a the support coming in from JT. He flew down here as quick as he could get to it. And the T's have kind of hit the brick wall. Floppy's position gave them just enough warning. Yeah, exactly. It was Floppy's choice. He realized he wanted to take space, and you see a lot of monster players doing that, getting their first kill. There's often just a lurk to contain. If you get the first and you try and take that space, it was enough to call that rotate. All three, he gets the info and even a kill. So mad respect to Floppy. And he's actually at the top of the scoreboard in the server alongside Stewie and Twist. So he's the one that's keeping the, uh, the frags high and keeping them competitive for Cloud9, who have fallen off just a little uh, into the second half. That is now... Quick maths, four plus three, seven to the one of Cloud9. Now two. Just to note, that was the first opening frag there from OC, and that's quite important for an AWP on the CT side to be getting away with some like that. So good stuff from him as 
or as that music sounds, it's going to be a bit of a tactical timeout. We're getting to the business end right here, and while well, Team Liquid, they only have one timeout remaining. Cloud9 yet to use any of theirs. Scores tied up at 12-12. Once again, no AWP on that T side. This would be a good time for a pace change, maybe something a bit more set PC. They do seem grouped up. Let's see what this round delivers. It's just the same default spread, unfortunately, in the early stages. So one to Connector, three towards the playground position, jostling, early utility coming on out, making sure the CTs can't get away with any early aggression. It's normally the name of the game within these first 30 to 40 seconds. But OC wants to continue to posture, and as I say that, of course, he runs further back. Yeah, this is not the first time we're going to see that set up either. Last time it was undone with that Molotov, but maybe this time around it might have a couple more. Uh, seconds to it, a little bit more leg to it. Let's see if they actually decide to dedicate towards this. Motum's still there, but he really fancies having another go at it. So close by to this other side here. Grim on the other side too. Naf not too far off. The T's are tentative in taking ground. Big problems here as well. Low utility. It's time to exchange that tentativeness for some tenacity. Losing Motum. An early advantage for Liquid. Oh, oh a sitter no. for OC. He's been having a rough go of it. As we discussed, his first opening frag oh of the God. six he's tried. Now it's JT to save and to equalize. A 4v4. It's going to be chaos. It's bloodshed on B. And already here on that A site, do you see Naf advancing onto Sonic. He is on the rotate now. Three players setting up for the after plant and the bomb already down courtesy of Naf. A re-smoke, even more salt in the wound. Molotov's for bank. He is yeah. officially locked out. He has to save. There's only a 2,900 a loss bonus coming into next. And if he does save here, they should be able to get another gun round on the board. If he goes for this and loses it, that means everybody won't have a rifle going into the following. I'm just trying to take stock of the cash right here. Oh, that's cheeky. See that? Yeah. Mm. Faking the uh, water sound, everybody, to try and bait Team Liquid to come and chase him on down. But unfortunately for Sonic, Team Liquid's money's in a bit of a better position, I would say. Stewie with 6350. Obviously, the loss bonus for this uh, Sorry, the win bonus, not the loss bonus. About to come on through for grabbing this one. So it'll continue to get buffered. And this is where you want to be on the T side. You know, you've got a decent amount of bank. You're probably going to be able to buy for the rest of the game here. Whereas Cloud9, the shoes on the other foot, sure, the loss bonus is built up towards that uh, max level. We're not completely there just yet. Oh, and there we go. There will be a timeout coming through for Cloud9 after all. So Shui's looking happy. Confidence-wise, it's got to be a booster right back in. That first half was was pretty, pretty frustrating. Yeah. I mean, uh, just as confidence goes, this is this is a different look to Liquid. It's nice to see them taking the reins, leading the pace, because it did feel like Cloud9 had those reins for a good couple of rounds, but switch on the half, comes back in. Uh, maybe a better team, no discredit to Cloud9, could have exploited that scoreline further. Yeah, no, absolutely, the opening kills. It was, as I, just, as I deemed it, chaos, and to see it in slow motion, it does just confirm that. And plenty of chaos, of course, from our uh, fan cams as well. <laughs> I remember that. I remember there was a period of, of girls in my class wearing the 3D glasses with the lenses out. Like, why were you doing that? You went to see a movie, you've plucked them out, and you think you're cool. I did it. Uh, emo vibes. I don't know. We've got a fast hit here. A bit of a switch up of a pace. So anything Cloud9 might have come up with could be thrown out the window because Liquid have just gone, nah, we've got a, we've got a round to spare. Now let's bang on in there. They've got the money to support it too. So why not be able to raise it? What? That's so cheeky. They just peeled out of this. They just went, see that really small amount of utility that you had to work with? You just put everything into. <laughs> it's redundant. Out. We're going to start the round again. Uh. I like that call though because it could have got very dangerous, right? The rotation was already coming in from Cloud9. They could have been getting destroyed. And well, there it is, looking for information. This looks really good from Liquid. This is this is inspiring some confidence in the roster. Certainly on the T side, showing more initiative. And with three remaining, Stewie again just tucks himself into Connector, which enables the uh, channeling of the CT rotate just to be from the CT spawn. Sonic currently set up on A. Second waves almost that. It, the way you phrased it on Vertigo, I think, really kind of echoes it in my mind here. That second wave of utility almost coming in now. But they're going in somewhat dry through Monster. You've got two players up who have utility, but they're banking off the bits that have come yeah. through here from the uh, players behind. But 
pretty clean take. Yeah, they had, they had to gamble, right? Yep. You, you just have to. So it was either you stack all three players over towards that uh, B site and hope for the best, or you go searching towards A. At least they're in a pack, and at least this gives them the opportunity to hold on to the guns. 3,400 will be the last bonus going into the following. So they will be able to drop bits and bobs across. And when that comes on through, it means that Cloud9 can continue to be competitive. So we kind of had the... So we'll, we'll kind of talk through it. Um, what what needs to happen here for, for Cloud9? Because honestly, like we had a lot of theories to what Liquid could change up, what they could do right, what was their win conditions. Cloud9 have barely found comfort on the CT side, Chad. What's, what's the adjustment? I think they need to do something assertive and aggressive. Like, oh, they've fumbled the run boost here. But yeah, I think Cloud9, if they can hold on to these guns, that's the first bit of importance. Oh, no, it's not. It's miserable. <laughs> they've lost two of the three in OC. Well... He will hold on to it. But yeah, the option needs to be, and maybe they'll go for it now that the money's not fantastic. Something more aggressive and more assertive. Get in their face and try and stop Liquid from getting away with whatever they want to do, right? We've seen the defaults. Okay, there's certain moves, certain mid-round plays that you can do to make them uh, trip over their own feet. Or if there's a rush coming in like that, Cloud9, if they pick an aggressive play, they have to have some of the... I, I like to label them as moves, right? Or they could be tactics. They could be aggressive plays. Something they have worked on where they can at least take some territory and a fight comfortably. A flash set up, ready to go in case, you know, the uh, the barrage comes in from Team Liquid. They need something where they're not getting dictated to. That's that's clear to me. Uh, OC's AWP maybe, right? Maybe let's, let's pump it down, connect it. Let's go for a fight. See if we can get an opening. If nobody's there... Funnel one of these pistol players up for a bit of aggression. Try and put pressure on Liquid because right now, what we saw in that round where they went B, they left B, they came back to B, that was fantastic stuff. And it was simple. What a peculiar choice. So they've chosen to play around OC's AWP, but JT's broken his money in the process by dropping an additional M4. Selfless in-game leader. Yeah, he is. He's just saying, Sonic, we need something behind the AWP as well to make this round viable. He's going to be boosted up. It makes sense. And now Sonic does have that M4. Let's see if it could do any damage. Into the side comes Stu. He has been masterful so far in this one, but he's taken out of the equation early. And now JT pipes oh! up and Cloud9 take it. In a matter of seconds, Sonic has lost his rifle in the process, but that is a crucial break of pace. Didn't need to to be that messy for Team Liquid there. It felt like once they'd seen those players towards that pit, everybody bloodlusted and that flank coming in on through from the sandbag position caught them off guard. You blink and you miss it in a round like that. And Cloud9, I don't think they can believe it. They're going to be taking a time out of their own off the back of that. So you see this here. Bird's eye view coming on into the site. They're glued to that pit position. Meanwhile, Modem coming up sandbags. People turn the wrong way. Side of the head, dink, 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 and away they go. Easy as that, and well, Sonic, he did drop to the Molotov at the tail end of things, but look at this, the frustration from Stu. I mentioned he was an emotional guy before, and as an in-game leader, I used to be extremely emotional, and the problem is if you let it get away from you, if you let that cloud your judgment and thought, it can just become a negative thing. How many conversations have we had about some of the greatest players with that as like a, not, not, I don't like saying it as an issue because sometimes it can be, mm. but others it can also be your greatest gift, like get right, right? Was always the highest highs, lowest lows. It's it's funny to see it's still such a, a common trend through some of these players. I like emotions, but uh, they do uh, wreak a little bit of havoc. I do they? agree that with Stewie, it makes sense to put him in the leadership role because of the power yeah. of his emotions. Now aggression from the CTs, they're following this and straight up, look at Mottam, brave into the first, but OC challenged by Stewie. He actually comes out on top, holds the belt above his head. Stewie, face down on the floor. We've got a 4v3 now. Liquid will not be gifted anything in this game. And I love JT's position. He can pretty much sit there now and the rest of his team can focus on safe. Me. Yeah, Completely safe. At worst, you're an early warning signal that you might have to consider. But this double stack on short, so powerful. Sonic, first time we got to see him really with that AWP in play as well. Something that I knew him for, but glad to see that role being a little bit more supplementary than uh, a requirement. But a late smoke down towards Monster, forcing Grim to kind of walk through this. But oh, Grim's ahead of it. Do they know what's coming their way? Sonic better be ready, and he is. Grim's there. And Sonic gets a nice little three, but that hold towards party felt so, so pivotal that the aggression coming out, JT's position. How selfless is Mottam? You know, like, uh, it, it, it's visible in his play. His whole purpose there was to get one and wide strafe so everyone's looking at him. He did exactly that and enabled OC to get another and get away. Sonic's the one that puts the cherry on top. You say three, and it's a quick three in that. Grim and Twist with a final two. You and we're back into the double orbs, yeah, chatty. You could see the last two rounds, though, the change from Cloud9. It wasn't just sitting back and waiting to see what was coming their way. They were taking the fights, they were taking the gambles, and they paid on off. And once again, aggression flashing through, seeing if they can find some fights. This time, Liquid 
meeting the utility with some of their own, and that has pushed Cloud9 back towards the toilet area right now. They've grabbed control of Sewer, spamming going off through the walls. So this is more of the jostling. I think Liquid have realized, ah, they want to fight us now, so let's see if we can take it to them. And with Sewer getting control, and Aid going over the top, that's going to do a chunk of damage. JT down to 27 points of health. Now, if you find an opening pick here from Liquid, if they can get a kill, what we've seen from Cloud9 is they like to... Oh my god, what was that? That's the shot everyone wants to hit, but Grim just did it. Wow, okay, Sonic, after being the hero of the last, is the first blood of the 29th. This could be the beginning of the end for Cloud9. They've lost one of their stars. The one, I guess, silver tiny bit of lining is there's still three players for Cloud9 on towards B. You do still have OC isolated and just has to feel out the game. When he feels uncomfortable, he'll need help. But late round aggression from the CTs. Bold and brazen for oh. three. We've seen Twist here before, and now we get to see Stewie. The power coming in from the T's was excellent. They sprung right on it. The timing almost unfortunate that Cloud9's aggress was met by the same push almost from Liquid through Monster. Yeah, that was a, a t very... Um, oh, trials and tribulations was the words at the tip of my tongue. But this time, OC's going to get caught. Trying oh, to block oh, him oh, down oh, for the bad see. man as blown bonus, and he's done it. We'll have an option for the AWP, but opting not to take it. So... Liquid on map point, the first of this series. Overpass, Cloud9's pick. It was just at the last second Grim connected. Let's see that from the behind the wall. Oh. Oh. Stings a little. Orp as well, just like six, seven grand on the floor. Yeah. Nasty, nasty feeling for Sonic and a great shot from Grim to get his team into it. Well, this is it. Do or die for Cloud9. If they want to take this one to overtime, they need to step up strong here. OC will have that AWP dropped across. The rifles are out. Utility is a little bit light, but once again, Liquid with the pace over towards Picnic. They can just posture and see if any early CT aggression wants to come out again. Because Cloud9, well, they haven't gone for an all-in gamble at the start. Still opting for a little bit of aggression, but Sonic is not on his own. He has a friend, JT. The two South Africans side by side, brothers in arms. They've been going through this journey together. Let's see if they can take their team to OT. I like that. Bit of map control, Alex. That's not bad. We haven't seen much of that before from the CTs either. No, and Long does look like it's going to be OC's next port of call. The timing, he's looked at the clock. He's around about that one minute mark. I need to address Long. He certainly wouldn't be wrong. Autumn's going to be given the task instead. God, I wouldn't want to be playing on Long as well. The way they've been run boosting. They've been just taking it apart. You credited so uh, Elysia's patience as well. It looks like it could be the very same scenario that got Liquid back into it on this T-side start. It was Motten that walked into Elysia last time as well. This time, flash! he's got the flash. Of course, it's OC. One of the world's best for the flash assists and demonstrating it here at round 30. It's not over yet. Four to four. Naf has equalized as he scarpers back up the ladder. Sonic can make that call. And this is the bomb. If Sonic gets the timing right here, he can completely pull the rug from under them. We've seen this before with Eagles, but this time Naf's too late to the party. It's Sonic who reads it all. That's two huge kills. That's going to split up the T's to the last two. Stewie and Twist. Classics. Incredible players, and they need something incredible now, but OC says no, it's looking like OT is on seconds. the cards. OT, OT, never much love when you go OT, but Cloud9 fans love this. It's 15-15. We need to take a quick break to catch our breath, but straight back out of it, we're going into overtime. Ocean in the wind We ain't gotta make plans Fair enough, it's fair enough oh, yeah. Always you and me Trying to be weightless Like we're the two 
A bit of a slog match so far. Liquid and Cloud9, we knew this was a good map for Cloud9. We knew that this was their stronghold, but Liquid did finally turn up, but it took them some time, guys. It was a slow build, and we're in OT. I'm kind of happy we're here, because we can get a nice little sample size of exactly what worked best for both teams. Who can replicate it, and how's it gonna look? Stewie's been fantastic on the fragging department, leading as well. Let's not forget the departure of Nitro still echoing through the team liquid roster. We do have Moses in the casting seat and twists drawing the first frag of our overtime here. It's just the first map of our final series here on day two. The America's region for ESL1 Cologne Online and Twist has found a second as well. Well, those multi-frag stats continue to rack up here for Liquid. It was time 23-23 towards the end of regulation there, but now Twist has put them one step ahead. The double orps is where Cloud9 feel that their success came from to get them to this point. But OC and Sonic are going to have to do something nasty if they want to get in this round. We saw some decent work from Sonic before on the orp, but yeah, it, it's going to have to be pretty big. And honestly, Twist might be teed up for some more success unless Bobby keeps him humble. Let's see if this little duo can do some damage. Sonic, nice trained on the cross, doesn't see the first. Going to get a... Oh, I think he saw enough. He saw a foot, he saw something. Oh. And he's willing to go back in. Bravery in his finest. And maybe... He falls for it, he does, but Floppy trades back in. OC's on the site. Alex, this is dangerous. Yeah, OC had to hit that first, and it's just going to be finished off near, nice and neat by the Naffa and Stu, but the triple kill from Twist is where that round was really won. Still, this is MR3, 16k, so everyone's going to be pulling out all the stops and all the orps they desire, or the ops. Now I'll just do that one for you, Lauren. Uh, regardless, though, <laughs> Twist does get himself free, and this is how the first two transpired. You can see that nice quick clearance of Connector. We talked about CT presence in Connector and how powerful it can be. Well, there's the opposite. That's what happens when a T tries what? to the opposite. I'm glad you asked, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Revenge is quick. Oh. Karma is real. <laughs> Bottom, he's doing it again. The brave soldier checking for the early fountain presence and then choosing to back away. Doesn't try and twist the knife anyway. Cool. So it was them actually fronting up and dictating towards the tail end of regulation that was able to get them to this point. But now, as things seem to simmer on down and we're on even keel, both teams with all the goodies, all the money, everything they desire, they could can just slow it down. They know that the orbs were the key to success, so they can be more diligent in the way that they clear corners and take angles. See the Molotov smokes and flashes on the radar in your top left going on over towards the bathroom side of things. 
Bottom is going to need to get a kill or two here. And there's actually three players up close and personal. So, Elysian and Grim, they might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, I mean, you're right. There is a colossal stack of CTs in their very typical setup. Mottom responsible for the long side. So, Toilets is on lock. A is on lock. And I say that with conviction. Here they come, though. Elysian will find the trade. But there's JT in quick succession. He's not allowed to retreat. Naf's the one to lay down the law. We find ourselves in the mid-round, folks. This is when things can get a little chaotic. It's a game within the game. 3v3. I like what Floppy's doing, though. His presence is definitely noted over by Shaw at Bs. He's keeping him humble. I'm worried about OC. So some of these shots have been going astray. They haven't been as primed as I'd like. But this time, let's see what he can do. Oh. I mean, just, just slipping away from him, but he's going to post up here. He does have some support, but further away. That's good. One there. Bomb goes down. He knows it. He's got to be careful, though. He's got pressure on both sides. Commit to one, one. and delivers. Oh, it's exactly what you want to see. Sonic, just strap it out. But that was perfect. I doubted OC because there have been occasions, but are clearly under those pressure moments, he can rise to them. Yeah, no, absolutely. That was gorgeous to see from OC. He, he does thrive in those... What's the word? It's not standard, it is peculiar. <laughs> when Alex starts at your word. Yeah. Oh. Chad's, Ch Chad's good. Chad's good with my words usually, but it's been a while. We haven't kind of got the synergy. But yes, you can Skew? see. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That will work. Go for that. But yeah, he's usually. often in rather obscure positions, those off angles, if you will. And here's another example. Goes for an aggressive one and will disappear in the guise of the smoke. Good damage as well inflicted from the nades. It's Grim and Stewie who've taken the brunt of that shunt. And there's oh. another one and ball. My goodness. Wallbangs as well. Chipping away at Stewie. He hasn't seen a single player and he's only got 20 points of health to work with for the rest of our final round of their T side here on off overtime. Oh, Floppy's making him work for it. Deep smoke's coming out. Not backing away from this either. It's double orbs. Yet to really be called in for the CTs, truly, at least in this one. OC. Doing the dance back and forth. It's such a dangerous game. The T side is so ready. If you make a mistake, overstep, over aggress, anything, they're right there. Yeah, and you can be responsible for that 2 1 deficit coming into the second half. You really do not want to be the one to set the first toe over the line. Mottam, info about to be here. He's making a lot of noise. It's a clean kill for Mottam. Can get away scar free as well. Looking good for Cloud9 to convert the 2 1 advantage here on their defensive gambit. Smoke's flying in towards the A site, and there are going to be players behind them too. OC's here though. Oh. OC, nice damage towards Grim. 2 HP. Molly. It's unfortunate, but he's going to still stand. He makes this harder and harder, but good. Molotov to force him away, but this plays in Mottam. They've got to be aware. He killed a leash. They've got to know it. But suddenly, it's not looking so bright anymore. But the two defenders of the A-Site are now dead. I've got a feeling, Lauren. Twist and Naf are going to remind us what they're capable of right here, right now. Bombs down and not today. Sonic Quick and so's JT. The two South Africans have secured themselves the 17th for Cloud9. That one was a, a little bit more decisive from Liquid when they found themselves in the awkward uh, mid-round scenario. Is that the word you're looking for? Awkward? Awkward, I guess. Still, so, still trying. You know those off angles? Unorthodox. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, that's, thank there we you, go. Lauren. We got there in the end. He's always in these unorthodox positions, but can be punished if he doesn't hit his shot. He does have the element of surprise because of his choice, but it is a colossal risk if the uh, uh, accuracy isn't there. What are some of those people on the fan cams getting I up did, to? I did see some sunnies. Yeah. The Twitch chat going. I got to see some like Pepe Jammers going past. Don't start on those little uh, emoticons or whatever you emoticons. assume there's a corner in these days. <laughs> I don't want to hear any of that nonsense. We're in overtime now. There's no space for that. And what we Damn, need. Bro, that's such a Kipo moment. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I love Kipo. Yeah, yeah, I'm more of a Kipo favorite. than a Kappa. Ooh, what I do like is a little bit of pace to the T side. And it looked like they were really trying to commit down towards Monster, but no, they've averted and they've kind of swung around towards Short and then just held. But look how much utility they've dumped here in the early stages. There's only three Molotovs and a Flash left for Cloud9 if they want to reinitiate anywhere on the map. They need to hope they can find a pick here early. Very, very astute observation. They've got nothing left and they haven't choose to follow up on any of that utility. How peculiar. Stewie advancing now. We know he's capable of the, with the AWP. That double orb, we talked about it. Jason talked about it. It's something they can bring out. And you see that signature relocation of his mouse. Does work out. Stewie onto Floppy. Five versus four. Early advantage found. And Mottam looking to be boosted up for it. Boosted up for the trade. But Grim seems so damn prepared for it. He's going to be jumping in and out of checking that. And he can actually see the tip oh. of Twist. What a reaction. 
That's his 26th and a very stylish one at that. They tagged up Stewie, they tagged up Twist, but it hasn't equated to anything. They've just lost out on two players from this boost. Attention looks to be kind of dwindling away from B for now. The bomb's en route towards A. Um, but yeah, it, it feels like something went astray. I'm sure Chad can take us a second or two to walk through what the hell almost went wrong there. Yeah, I just feel the utility dump from Liquid and, and how much they wanted to stop that rush was enough to make Cloud9 double guess running on in. But the fact that they didn't follow through with their utility meant they were left with nothing and now they need to limp onto this A side. All right, all right. Now, walks into OC's crosshairs. Can't believe his luck, but Liege does manage to keep it equal. Yeah. This is getting nuts. They don't have the time. They don't have the players. It's all onto OC. Oh. He's getting the shots he needs. He hasn't got the time. Another oh. chance. If only Stewie was Stewie there. Didn't do it. And a phenomenal oh. attempt. But it's not going to amount to anything. The equalizer found for Liquid. Oh, that makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. Stewie runs away. Stylish it's way fine. to save an all. It's okay. Makes me nervous. Yeah, the start of that round was a bit weird, though. Yeah, Stewie uh, got that opening pick right there. A little bit Fallen-esque. Oh. So maybe remembering from his time with uh, MIBR there. But OC, it was all in vain. We are in overtime here. So look, they're flashy kills, but they don't really amount to a lot. Now, going into the next round, whoever wins this one, they're going to secure double overtime for their team here. 18's the magic number to do USSR it all again. In the top. It's a bunch of clowns. <laughs> Perfect summary of the Counter-Strike community, to be honest, actually. <laughs> We're just a bunch of clowns who like the video game. <sighs> some of us, for some reason, have microphones in front of our faces. Still, this is the business end of our first map here. Every decision. To make or break, and Elysia's jiggle costs him his life. Lucy's looking better and better, though. I, I was a little worried at that kind of, like, mid to late, but he's... He's found a bit of form, which I'm quite excited about here. Uh, maybe slightly biased after that last round, even though it was all in vain, even though, you know, obviously... Doesn't make it any less beautiful. It looked pretty. Doesn't make it Let any me enjoy beautiful. it. Uh, but yeah, the 5v4, I, I, I want to see where they take this now. It's the first time in a while I see them taking advantage of the quick trade or a fight back, lose HP, lose loads of utility. It's a clean start. But Chad, you've taken an early advantage. It's such a bit... Uh, you know, this is a crucial round. You've got 5v4. Am I crazy to... Whoosh! Maybe OC's crazy. He's just got him another. I was going to say group and commit. And they've even got the Lurk of Sonic. This seems like it should be Cloud9's 18th if they can con control and execute the final stage. Maybe not. Two very quick frags in equalization from Liquid. It was twists on one side. Lurk gone. Oh. And as you can see on the overlay, they are all encroaching onto Stewie's position. He can fall back. The rotate's coming in. He's going to be kept back for now. The, the bomb should go down. They should be safe. I guess a spam or two could have tagged him up, but they do get to post plants. One smoke, one flash for the T's. On the other side, one smoke for the CT. So the playback in's going to need some of that raw power. And JT summons it before Stewie. Not something I expected, but it is what it is. Twist and Grim going to have to try and play this one back. Okay, so this is immediately where we start taking stock. We need a smoke, we need a kit. We have both. The responsibility can be either. That's the smoke, and now Grim looks like he'll be given the responsibility of that fight, but he does he get prepared for another? JT's won two impossible duels. JT has secured it. OC's the one to find the final frag, but he takes down two huge scalps in that round for 18. Yeah, and with that, securing double OT for Cloud9 here. So Team Liquid need to respond in turn if they want to keep this one going. Around and round we go. You need four in overtime to get across the line. So the magic number for Cloud9 here would be 19. Cool. <laughs> he actually got surprised. I love it. I'm not the only one. I thought I was weird for being shocked when OC blows my head off or another. I mean, in my mind, all the AWPers that are killing me are better than OC. Okay. But that's mm. how I feel too. All right. Well, oh, uh, yeah, the, the AWPs, AWPs, one of those guns, it, it shocks to your core. It does. Very loud. Scary. It goes bang. Zoom banger, you might say. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> Uh, let's have a little look. Oh. You dare go. You wouldn't go back there, right? OC, OC's dominated this. He's really come into his own, which I like to see. It's quite surprising. And obviously Liquid, I mean, the resilience is there. We saw it on on kind of regular time. It was definitely in play, but it seems to be somewhat quelled. I, I'm not going to say it just yet. It's it's still Liquid, right? Like That's the thing. There's always going to be that factor of well, what if just Stewie gets in the right place, right time, and bangs out three. It's, it's more likely than you'd imagine. And you can see the smoke walls being deployed by the CTs very early. We just saw a re-smoke monster, smoke towards toilets. 
What were Liquid's intentions with those smokes? Just to continue to delay them? Yeah, they actually didn't dump too many protocol nades early. They held off on the majority of their smokes until now. So you can see here they still now have two left as the third will be dipped on out. There's a Molotov in Naf's hands. They think they're realizing that the pace from Cloud9 is sitting back and waiting. So if they can hold on to the utility for a little bit longer, this is when it starts to get a little bit squirrely towards the tail end. 45 seconds left on the clock and it will be a B finish. But there's three players from Liquid over towards A. On oh, the responsive flash could be phenomenal. JT doesn't care. Screen full white and now Grim full fright. He's forced to watch. Twists, however, can do something very much. He's done too. Sonic does get the trade and OC's close quarters orbing. Just for head Stewie. Leaves us in a 3v2 and that bomb should be planted seconds from Ooh. now. He's burning. Floppy finds security in the smoke. Oh, no, not much either. And Nade was pretty close. Elysian, Naf to play it back through. I feel like Elysian's really chomping at the bit, but Floppy denies it. And now Naf in a 1v3. He's got one. The trade comes in and Osi is there. Cloud9 closing down.